Hello. I'm now going through Think and Grow Rich again. I normally try and go through, you know, several types of um, thought-leading books as for my morning read. And this time I'm going through Think and Grow Rich again. Uh, now I got to the chapter on, and he calls it The New Way of Marketing Services. Don't forget, this book was written in, or published in 1937, and it took about 20 years to write. It was commissioned by Andrew Carnegie, and he got Napoleon Hill. It, Napoleon Hill took, I think, something like 20 seconds to decide. And Andrew Carnegie had decided, he was using a stopwatch under the table, that if it took him more than 60 seconds, he was going to withdraw the offer. Can you believe? Make up your minds in time, people. Don't procrastinate. Okay, moving on. So customer service, he says, it has to be between the employer, the employee, and the public they serve. This is what I call a win-win-win situation. Now, in those days, most people had jobs, and probably is still generally true today, um, but even more so then, which was kind of like the beginning of the industrial era and all that kind of thing. But it's a win for you, a win for the person you're marketing your products or services to, and if possible, a win for the greater environment. Um, but at least aim for a double win, a win for you and a win for the person you're marketing your product or service to. And if you can make it a third win, it makes it even more achievable and even more desirable. Okay, I'll give you a very good example. Here was I. I'd come back from a stint in the Middle East and I was back in England, in Cambridge, and I was looking for a new car. In the meantime, I had bought a very serviceable but older, like I think it was about eight years old, car, very, very good car. Um, but it was older and, you know, you could tell it was older. So I went into a dealership and the dealership, I went around and I could barely get anybody to talk to me, to actually show me around cars. It was such an off-putting experience. I simply just walked out of the showroom. I said, for my money, I deserve to be treated better. So I walked out of the showroom. So anyway, this car that I already had, I now took it to the actual local dealership because I had topped it up with engine oil. Uh, those were the days when you didn't have such closed systems and I had topped it up and it was already beginning to smoke because the engine oil was dropping onto the engine. Anyway, so I took it there and said, could you please let some of the oil out? And in the meantime, I went into the showroom looking around at the cars just for a bit of fun. Nothing serious, trust me. Anyway, they came back and I said, okay, how much do I owe you? Oh, ma'am, it's complimentary. Okay, not only that, they had given the car a really nice uh, uh, cleaning up, valeting. They, they valeted the car. It was looking nice, bright, shiny, etc. So, you know, we parted as friends and I said, okay, thank you very much. They actually had, because they checked it in properly, they actually had, important, they had my phone number. So, I got a call. Three days later, it says, madam, we noticed you were looking around at cars and a particular color of the car you like, we actually have it in. Would you like to come and see it? Needless to say, went to go and see it and bought the car. The service, the service I had got from that dealership was polar opposite to what I had when I went to the one where I had actually intended to get a car. It was a no brainer. And not only that, any time my car needed servicing, they would bring me an almost brand new loan a car to my home. Now, how much better does it get? So we had a very good relationship and, you know, ended up buying another car from them because of customer service. And I've always done this actually through most of my cars. Um, same thing happened to me when I came here in Canada. I had an older car because I was for a while, I was, you know, um, uh, living off, you know, my own income. I'm not earning anything. So when I decided I wanted a newer car, I went to the dealership and I, the one I desired and I said, hey, you know, folks, you know, these are my proposals. This is what I need for various reasons. And they said, oh, no, can do, cannot do, cannot do, cannot do. So guess what? Yours truly did. I said, thank you so much. Cross the road, went to the other dealership, car after all, and got a very nice salesperson, talked to him. Long story short, I got my car within... And this was at that car a new release, so people were on the waiting list. And I actually got the car inside of about two weeks. Customer service for me is premium. At the end of the day, if you have, you know, a service 
or a product and you don't have backing customer service, it doesn't work. Customer service people. So if you expect to give good customer service, make sure if you expect to get good customer service, make sure you do give good customer service. Okay. This is rather long for today, but uh, make sure that if you haven't done so already, you subscribe to the newsletter below. Bye.